everyone today our content is the block diagram of a computer so this is the block diagram of a computer this is the main units of the block diagram the first one is the input device second one is the central processing unit in central processing unit there is a two units control unit and the arithmetic and logic unit third one is the memory unit and fourth one is the in output devices so let's see the working of the each and every units so first one is the memory memory is a storage device it stored the both the input as well as the output in a computer in memory there are the mainly two types first is a primary and second one is the secondary memory so the memory can store the data which the user can give the input as well as the output data it can be stored so there is a two types of the memory the first one is the primary and second one is the secondary memory so primary memory we can also call as the main memory or the internal memory in primary memory we can store we does not store the data in permanently but the secondary memory we can store the data permanently and secondary memory it's also called as the auxiliary memory and also called as a external memory so input unit input units are the device from which the user the user provides the input to the computer example keyboards mouse joystick light pen webcam scanner and mic so input devices what is the working of the input devices so when the user can give the input through the keyboard mouse and joystick light pen webcam at that time the user can through the input to the input devices and the central processing unit process the data after the processing it can store the data to the memory so cpu the cpu is a data processing device where the user data will be processed the cpu is also called as the brain come heart of a computer in cpu there are the mainly three parts so first we can see the memory memory can store the data there are the two types of the memory primary and the secondary memory the input devices is give the input through the keyboard mouse and the next one is a cpu the cpu can work process the data and can store the data in our control unit there are the three parts there are the mainly three parts of the cpu the first one is the storage or the memory unit second one is the alu that is the arithmetic logic unit and third one is the control unit so in memory we can store the data permanent and also temporary let's see the alu this this unit stored the both the input as well as the output of a computer alu that is the arithmetic logic unit this unit perform the all the arithmetic and logical calculations in a computer so the alu can perform the all the arithmetic and logical operations for example addition multiplication subtraction and the logical operation it can be also perform and it can be stored in the memory and second one is the control unit this is this unit is responsible for all the operations held in a computer it control the both the flow of a input as well as the output in a computer and it control all the operations taking place in a computer it's work like a traffic police and it is called as the nervous system of a computer so this is the main and this is the brain of a computer the alu and the control unit the control unit can control the overall operations in a computer so this is the very important unit of the computer so next one is the output unit the output unit are the device from which the user get the result in a computer with the help of monitor printer speaker plotter so last one is the input devices when the processing is completed and the last we can get the output with the help of monitor printer speaker and the plotter so again we can see oh again we can see the block diagram of a computer so i hope you can understand the working of each and every units so let's see again input devices the user can give the input with the help of the keyboard and the mouse and when the un when the input is due at that time the central processing unit can process the data 
control the operations and after the processing data it can send it to the memory so memory can store the data and also again also memory unit can send it to the central processing unit and the central processing unit can check the data and he can send it to the output devices and output devices we can give the output result with the help of the monitor plotter and printer so guys i hope you can understand this all the concept and thank you